Alright, so there's skeletons I could keep fighting, but I haven't been finding, like, you know, the best loot that you could possibly get, really. Hey, hey! <laughs> Vincent, thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. Gas money, indeed. I need that. The gas prices are going up. You are a kind soul, Vincent. Um, Acme Reliable Swag Bag. Maximum load, two ounces. By the way, uh, just to let you guys know what you saw there, what you heard there, if it was confusing, I changed the... I've been experimenting, doing some things with my Twitch stream, uh, well, YouTube's, just all of my streams, basically, adding some new things. You've seen some of the sticker animations that I've been putting in just to kind of add a little flavor, but in that sense, I changed the video that was the default video that you guys would see um, of the zombie walking, and I'm going to start changing those more because I believe someone suggested that I should personalize those two for the channel. That was El Guapo from Three Amigos, um, and he, he's given a gift by his bandit's buddies for his birthday, and it's a sweater. And it's like one of my favorite parts of that movie where, you know, this kind of like evil bandit lord is given a sweater by his cronies, and he's all happy about it. He's like, um, it's a sweater! So that's how I celebrate. Yeah, I will engage with all the skeletons around, and I'm gonna also try to search all of the uh, Ali Morrison items. Um, so thank you, yeah. That's why I think the skeletons are showing up as red dots on the map, maybe? I could be wrong about that. Three amigos, Crab, three amigos, the one with uh, Chevy Chase and Steve Martin and uh, Martin Short. Classic 80s comedy. <laughs> okay, suboptimal flask. Okay, I won't, I won't. Let me, let me do some more with the skeletons. Yeah, thank you, Nick, man. I appreciate that. I'm going to keep pushing on because I'm, I'm, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but this is one of the few times in my RuneScape career where I'm really trying to level up my quest game by using the minimap and using the dots on the minimap. So I've been actively going after the, the minimap indications. Let me fight this skeleton. Got it. And what does this guy got? He's got a hammer, gr Guam, and bones. Yeah, I figure they're trying to tell me something with these minimap. So basically, what I need to do is find enough evidence to report to Leela. So there's a skeleton up here that I didn't search, that I need to search, right? So let me go do that. The reason I didn't search any of the subsequent skeletons was because I was just afraid that they would jump up and attack me. And so I was like, well, this is pointless. I don't think I fought any of these actually either. Let me fight all the skeletons. It's also just a old school gaming mentality of just click on everything that's clickable to do the quest. Oh, here we go. There's something in this. Look, there's... Aw, no, never mind. I thought it was a book. 
it was just a water skin. I was like, oh, there's a book with some notes. No, no, no. Water runes. I'll take your runes. Hey, Crispy. By the way, good evening, Crispy. How's it going? I mean, I'll tell you what. You got a lot of options with those crates. First of all, you can store the crates for the zombie apocalypse, Crispy, and you'll be fine. So there's that. But the other thing you could do, Crispy, is you're a culinary wizard. So you could dedicate yourself to figuring out the best ways of preparing this survival food. Each one's the size of a laundry basket. Okay, for that, you're going to need to uh, excavate a warehouse. Hey, hey! Tantalus, good evening. You got a new job? Congrats, my friend. 90 pounds each. That's a lot of work, Grisby. 90 pound crates are no joke. Let me see what this skeleton's got. Tantalus, I'm going to be going a little bit longer because I want to make sure that I can get through this part of the quest. Oh, did I need to pick these things up? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I need to pick up all of Ollie Morrisane's things. Ah, uh, Google's unreal. Okay, let's pick up all of the Ali Morrisane. I didn't realize I could take them. <laughs> Crispy, I can't wait to see it. It's gonna be like you could you could almost use the crates to build a storage center for the crates because they're so big. No, Alex. Um, I'm looking forward to that, my friend. By the way, thank you again. What I want, Alex, is uh, this week I have uh, papers in all of my classes to grade, and so it's not the best, but I'm hoping this weekend. Pyramid Journal. There was a book. I thought I saw a book. Here we go. Another day, another coin. Sounds like Ali Morrisane is recruiting again, and I guess I'll give him another chance. That last job with the dung and the chili sauce was embarrassing, but he did pay up. Oh, crispy. Yep, that will get you. Send him back. So I'm off to an ancient pyramid to investigate reports of ancient treasures. This is far more what I was looking for in life. Things are on the up, and maybe we'll strike it rich this time. Seems we are not the first gang he sent to this pyramid. The last lot just came back with a bunch of old papers. Maybe I was too optimistic about the chance of mighty loot. The others with me are a disreputable lot. I'd not be shocked if they would rob me as soon as look at me. I'm pretty sure the Abba's, the shovel, was rummaging in my... I'm... Sh I'm Pretty sure that Abbas, the shovel, was rummaging in my gear last night. Man, what a good nickname. The shovel? I wish I could have a nickname like the shovel. Still, he looks good in a scrap, so I'll overlook it for now. We've arrived at the pyramid, and we're trying to find some way in. The main entrance seems magically shielded to us, despite there being no visible block to the door. Mashari, the engineer, has opened up an old shaft to one side of the pyramid. Looks like we'll be in tomorrow. The work is much more strenuous than I thought when I signed up. What's more, this AMCE gear is so shoddy it hurts. We'll be digging with spoons soon. I think he is, Sir Theodore.
mystery men this story? <laughs> yeah, Tantalus, I think you got it right. We made it inside. Perhaps we'll be more exciting here than in the desert. I don't usually complain about food, but these AMCE supplies are vile. I'm pretty sure they could market under the slogan, We put the rat into rations. That's a great slogan. I should open up my own ration making supply and say that we put the rat into rations. <laughs> the shoveler. Oh, I see, Alex. Archaeology for profit, that's the only way. That's not the Indiana Jones way, Sir Theodore. I don't think that Ali is saying it belongs in a museum. Mashari the engineer is a Campbell's rump. <laughs> the tunnel he was working on collapsed. We saw that, leaving us in the main tomb. At least it collapsed on him. Aw, Mashari. There's something moving further in, and I don't like the sound of it. Amir the Egghead bored us senseless with tales of how we enter the room. So this person who's writing this diary, by the way, it says Dear Diary at the top, which is so charming. I love this, but anyway, they, they give nicknames to everyone that they're dealing with. So there's the Shovel, there's the Egghead, there's the Engineer. He bored us senseless with tales of how we enter the room, depicting some history of the pyramid's inhabitant. Then he wandered off, and his screams still echo in my mind. Oh, that's terrible. The last of the water ran out after we killed that stone monstrosity. Okay, we talked to the monstrosity. Nothing but cudgeling it with blunt weapons seemed to do anything. Its remains are still out there, yelling of curses. More hours in this tomb with low food and the stone terror's echoings, warning, stopping sleep. I feel worse even than that might uh, sound. I pray for rescue. Oh, okay, Alex. I won't, my friend. But you, you were not here earlier, Alex, but it takes me a lot to look for help. I will smash my face against it for a good while before I actually ask for help uh, from YouTube or wikis because I don't want to get anything spoiled. So I'm going to try my darndest without it. Abbas the shovel is moving again, but not in a good way. The curse. Okay. So suboptimal food indeed. Uh, let's see. Um, I found a journal detailing some occurrences in the period. Maybe I don't need this Ali Morrisane stuff then. Maybe I can just take this to Leela, the, uh, the stuff that I found. Oh, okay, Alex. It does, Ar um, Archangel. I think there's a lot to... It's like, yeah, we're learning something, but, I mean, it, it's a bit dodgy. All right, so I think we're going to need somebody who can interpret these. So maybe... Uh, maybe Leela could do this for me. Oh, it's got a built-in wiki. <laughs> Hilarious, Crispy. You're going to have pancakes for life. That's good. All right, so did Leela come along? Like, is she here? Or is she back in Draenor? <laughs> I love it, Vincent. You know what, Vincent? I'm like that sometimes too, though. It did talk about the cave-in, but I couldn't get through it. I saw it, but I couldn't get through. It says you can't dig from this side. Um, oh, wow. When you die the first time, Alex, it tells you about it. I got you. Vincent, I'm like that sometimes where it's like, life is short and I don't have enough time you know, um, and I want to enjoy the game, so I will just look at it.
<laughs> suboptimal writing. Something like that, Morbid Fell. You're on the roll tonight. I don't think I have it either. Oh, you, you mean I still need something from here? Okay, thank you, Aren. I will. Let me go back then in the other room. Okay, well then let's go back to the room. Let me see, actually, I don't think the golem says anything new to me. Let's see. Now, he has the same dialogue options. Let me go back to the... Uh, That's true. Crispy it is. You should get a tax credit. Display of long lost items. Hmm. Okay, let's go back up here. I have the taddy bag. Yeah, exactly. Wow, Vincent. <laughs> Wait, so you were reading a, a wiki about a novel that you read for more information? Yeah, there are more skellies in here. Let's see what they got. And there's a, a lantern if I want that. Hammer, bone, oh, mummy hand. Here we go, here we go. Mummy hand. All right, um, the mummy hand is different. Wait. Where'd that mummy hand go? I swear there was a mummy hand. Didn't I see a mummy hand? Did I pick up a mummy hand? Just right click, pick it up. Okay. Scroll of the dead. We need that for sure. This seems like the sort of evidence that Leela was after. I should talk to her now. Perfect. All right. I'm losing it. No, I saw a mummy hand. Yeah, look here. It's right here, Alex. Look at that. It's just not in the loot. That's what's killing me. I could be losing it. That, I mean, that's very real. I'll accept that, Alex. Uh, I don't think I need this Ali Morrisane stuff, but what if I did? Examine the mummy's hand. Just a hand. Take that hand. This could be good. Drop the pink die. Yeah, yeah, good point. Aww. No, Pisca Cat, it's not like that. Uh, I'm doing a quest called Missing My Mummy. The Ancient Dead. I have studied the rites of the ancient pyramid dwellers in some detail. 
and can now offer this summary of their burial rites. The crux of the matter is that for some, for reasons I have not fathomed, these folk split the body and soul at death. This mummification process was only performed upon important persons with the split being more elaborate the further we regress in time. As its simplest, the body is mummified, removing the organs into four canoptic jars. The body is typically decorated with jewelry, an unfortunate habit in that it encourages grave robbers. Well, yes, it does. I believe that a body double, a replacement for the deceased in the afterlife, is also supplied, which explains grave goods such as furniture. This theory is supported by the presence of Ushtabi, images of the deceased in these tunes. I believe these are replacements for the deceased in the toils of the afterlife and were always constructed from willow. Food and drink are also supplied. Common clay pots filled with wheat such suffice as food, while wine combined with spices is the traditional drink. These would be desert spices, of course. Gnomish ones would be not at all in keeping. I have reproduced these from modern equivalents. I've also discovered that the name and personality of mummies are supposed to separate over time and must therefore be recorded to ensure the mummy can retain these features. Thus, records of the name and deeds of the mummy should be present in many burials. As they are recorded on papyrus, they should survive well. Finally, the spirit and shadow of mummy are also noted as separating from the corpse. I am not sure, however, what form this particular split may take. It is a traditional tale that mummies may be consulted for words of wisdom, but only if their burial site is undisturbed. Given the rich loot found in such burials, I fear this is an unlikely situation to arise. If it were to occur, however, the historical data available would be potentially vast. Wow. Not at all. Okay. Um, so... Can I, do I want to, is it, it, I don't know if it's too spoilery if you guys can tell me, but do I want to use the willow and the wheat on the pot and then the wine with the uh, spices and then put them on the dais or is, do I need Leela first? Oh, man. You're getting there, Mr. Smith. That's awesome, my friend. Talk to Leela. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, let's see what she's got. She's by that little jail. Where is that darn thing? Over here. Here she is. Yes, absolutely. I was thinking the same thing, Nick, man. Are you back? Do you have any news of the pyramids and its inhabitants? I found a mummified hand. That must be something to do with this inhabitant. This is very bad news indeed. If the mummy has been dismembered or even destroyed, my plans will be set back months. I'm sorry, Leela. It looks like that happened. You really must try to find out what caused this dismemberment and whether the rest of the mummy is still present in the pyramid. I also found a plain canopic jar. Hmm, this is not a good sign. It suggests that the pyramid has been at least partially looted. You best get back there quickly before any more damage is done, unless you have more evidence, that is. I found a journal, too, which explains a few things. This is quite vague. What exactly is in this journal? It seems that the tomb robbers became trapped and succumbed to a curse. I'm rather worried that the curse will affect me. Trust me, you shall not be affected by the curse. You are not just here to loot, just there to loot so you'll be fine. It does lessen the chances that the place has been fully looted, though, so this is good of news of sorts. Finally, I found a translated text. Excellent. Can I just look at that for a moment? 
Here she goes, she's gonna check it out. Oh my, this does shed a whole new light on matters. It seems that the burial rituals performed on the Pharaoh Queen within the tomb have split her up into various parts. You must reconstruct her presence before contact can be made properly. I am guessing that you will not have to totally reconstruct her though. So what am I supposed to do next? How do I reconstruct a mummy? The scroll mentions that body, body doubles, spirit, shadow, personality, and name were each split up. You will have to look for ways to reunite these with Pharaoh Queen. Um, okay. All right, so we need to talk to her about several things and we will do that, but we're gonna have to do that next time uh, because as Nick Man mentioned, this is a great place for uh, a cutoff for the quest. And as Tabby was saying, this is a long one. So we're gonna pick this up next time. It is indeed my bedtime, everyone. So I wanna say thank you everyone so much for coming out to the stream and for hanging out. It was so much fun as always to play RuneScape with you. We started with the fight cave and then we moved into a purple cat quest with Wendy. And then now we're here working on missing my mummy so we're doing some great runescape work sir theodore kuro crab significant rodent tabby i know that it's very strong assurance tabby um nick man tantalus alex yes we're doing rimworld tomorrow my friend vincent thanks again for the super chat mr smith thank you for re Subscribing your membership, Piscicat, Oren, Serene, Morbent Fell. Thank you, as always, for your help, Morbent, with the quest items. Crispy Bacon. Everyone out there, thank you so much, Tabby. Have a great one. Take care.